Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Food Chain TV. It is I, Chef Christian, with a 20 minute, one pan, beautiful recipe that I think you're gonna enjoy. Angel hair pasta with mushrooms, garlic, and pecorino romano cheese. You can put it together in under 20 minutes, one pan, here we go. All right guys, let's get right into this recipe. Here are the ingredients. We have some angel hair pasta. We have about two cups of chicken stock. We have pecorino romano cheese. We have three cloves of garlic minced. We have a whole bunch of fresh chopped parsley, a little nub of butter, and of course, our sliced mushrooms. Now, it's important that we start with a wide, flat bottom pan, and that's so that the pasta can rest flat on the bottom, and it's all at the same level, and it can cook equally. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is turn this up to medium high, and I'm gonna put in the butter and let that melt. And because butter is basically oil and milk solids, it tends to burn. So what can we do to prevent that from happening? We can add oil. So in this case, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the butter, and that's going to buffer the butter, which means that it's going to slow down or prevent the milk solids from burning. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna add in the mushrooms. Okay, I don't need to add the whole thing, just a few. This is a portion for two people. Or if you're a big guy like myself, it's a portion for one. So I'm just gonna cook these till they're nice and soft. This is, after all, a nice quick dish. Okay, so I fry these mushrooms for about, I would say, a minute, minute and a half. And now I'm gonna very quickly add the garlic. Okay, the garlic cooks in about 15 seconds, so you just keep it moving. That way it doesn't burn, you just keep it moving, moving, moving. And that, by the way, is the secret of stir frying. And one of the basic theories behind stir frying is that if you keep your food moving constantly, you are much less likely to burn it, okay? There we go. This is a nice quick dish, so you wanna make sure that you have all your ingredients prepared ahead of time so that you can just get right into this and you don't skip a beat. All right, so we got our pasta in here and then we're gonna add our chicken stock. So I'm gonna add, I've added maybe a cup and a half of chicken stock. Angel hair pasta takes a very short amount of time to cook. That's why this is a great one pan recipe. You can do it all from start to finish in probably about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so as soon as this chicken stock starts to come to a simmer, this pasta is not gonna take very long. And one of the things that I love about cooking dishes with angel hair pasta is not only that it's super fast, but the angel hair pasta lets go of a lot of starch. So the liquid in the pan ends up being nice and creamy because of the starch in the pasta. Okay, so what would happen here before the pasta is done if we start running out of liquid? Well, you should have some on hand just in case. And you just want to keep this moving, nicely going. Okay, we're about the one minute mark now. And you can see that we're starting to dry up. You can see the bottom of the pan. Okay, so that's no problem. We have extra chicken stock. I'm just gonna add a little bit extra. And if we got to the situation where we ran out of chicken stock and the pasta is still not cooked all the way through, it's no problem. We can just add a little bit of water. Okay, but if you have this small amount of pasta, and about two, three cups of chicken stock, you will be safe. All right, right now what's happening is the angel hair pasta is soaking up all that chicken stock, it's absorbing all that flavor, and it's cooking. Okay, we're now at about the, maybe we're 90 seconds, two minutes in. Okay, you can see the pasta is getting nice and soft. All right, and we're using this flat bottom pan so that all the pasta is evenly submerged in the liquid. We don't want any part of the pasta outside of the liquid because we want it all to cook at the same time. I'm blowing some of the steam <laughs> out of the way so it doesn't fog up the camera here. Okay, 
Okay, we're getting close. We are getting close. This is not something you want to walk away from, folks. This is something you want to commit to. If you have commitment issues, this is not a dish for you. But if you have five minutes that you can spare to stand in front of this dish, it'll be well worth it, I assure you. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of pasta here. There we go, just one little strand. Okay, almost there. I'm gonna put in that last little bit of chicken stock. Again, blowing that steam out of the way so the camera doesn't fog up. So what do I wanna end up with? I wanna end up with a nice creamy pasta that is well cooked. Okay, we're approaching the end here, so I'm gonna add some fresh parsley. Okay, we're almost there. I'm gonna to go to the sink and get a little bit of water. Here we go. I can see that the bottom is drying up just a little bit, so I'm just gonna add like a little tiny bit. There we go. Maybe two ounces of water because this nice starchy creamy water is actually the sauce here. All right. Okay, so you're gonna taste a little bit of this pasta. I think it's pretty much done here. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat. Now I'm gonna move it off the heat. Okay, I'm gonna move it to a different part of the stove. Okay, here we go. It's off the stove. Pasta is perfectly cooked. You can see it's nice and creamy. And I'm gonna take my Pecorino Romano, which I love the flavor of this cheese. And we're gonna sprinkle it all over the top here. And that cheese is gonna sort of melt right into the sauce and that create an extra layer of creaminess and flavor and because we don't have it on the heat directly, it's not gonna get gritty or ball up. It's just gonna melt nice and smooth. Look at this, it's being incorporated into the pasta. And now, let's go to the bowl. All right, and now we are going to serve. So check this out. Oh, beautiful, oh my God, look at that. Creamy, beautiful, angel hair pasta. We did this in like what? under five minutes here. Okay, put some of those beautiful mushrooms on top. All right, we're gonna be conservative here. We're not gonna eat the whole thing. It's uh, January 1st. We wanna maybe be in shape a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh man, look at that. So here we have our plate of beautiful pasta. Let's finish it off with some more Pecorino Romano. A little bit of parsley on top. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. Look at that, guys. And uh, here you go. You can have a five-star angel hair pasta dish from start to finish in under 20 minutes. Look at this delicious dish. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to give me a like. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments section what other recipes you would like to see because after all, I make these videos just for you. So thank you guys very much for watching. I am gonna go enjoy some of this beautiful pasta. Oh my God, look at this.